right, everybody, here we go with another Celebrate Life interview. I'm sitting here with Miss Alani Richardson. I'm gonna let her tell, her tell you a little bit about herself and then we're gonna kick off the question. Um, well, my name is Alani Richardson. Um, I just graduated from Old Dominion University and I have started an organization called The Life Project, um, RVA, and it's based here in Richmond. Um, what we do, we do mentorship, fundraising, and we try to help the community, community in every way possible. Most definitely, that's definitely needed out here in Richmond and in, in all areas, areas, to be honest. So, let's go ahead and kick off right into the questions because I feel like you're gonna give some great information. First question is, why do you celebrate life? Um, I celebrate life mostly because it's not a given. Um, my process in celebrating life hasn't always been me like wanting to celebrate life. I've struggled with depression and I've struggled with suicide and things of that nature. And I've struggled with not wanting to be on this earth anymore, but by the grace of God, he saved me. I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for his saving grace because when he shined upon my life and when he showed me what it means to be in him and what it means to be saved, that's when I really could truly say I appreciate life and I want to celebrate life every single day. So, yeah. Most definitely. All right, right into our second question. Why should you celebrate life? I think that everybody should celebrate life once again because it's not promised to you. You can leave this earth any day. Um, last year, I lost my best friend due to gun violence here in Richmond, and he was one to celebrate life every single day. So you should definitely celebrate life, mostly because you never know when you're going to leave this earth, and you always want to leave a strong and impactful legacy to everyone you come into contact with. So yeah. Most definitely. That's powerful. Um, right into the third question. How do you celebrate life? I celebrate life by just loving people. Um, I work with kids with autism. I work at the Faison Center here in Richmond also. And I celebrate life with those kids every day. Um, a lot of times people think that kids with disabilities are the ones that are struggling or the ones with challenges. But most of the time, kids with disabilities are the ones who show us how to celebrate life even more or show us how to celebrate life in the most unique ways. And I think just hanging out with those kids every day, um, being at my church and being involved and being involved with the community, that's how I celebrate life. Okay, okay. And finally, if you were working with some of these students, male or female, and you had to tell them in a brief statement what celebrate life means, what would you say? I would say celebrate life means serving others. A lot of people think that service is not celebration or that service is not leadership or that service is not important. But once you start to serve people, all of the problems that you have in your life start to minimize. When you maximize God and when you maximize other people, your problems diminish. So I think service is the best way to celebrate life. That's what celebrate life means to me. Most definitely. So before we leave, can you give the people um, some social media, some way to uh, contact you and definitely follow your organization? So my personal um, social media on Twitter and on Instagram is Alani RVA, A-L-A-N-I RVA. And my, uh, the Life Projects, Twitter is Life Project RVA. And our Instagram is The Life Project RVA. So that's Most us. definitely. So now y'all have some more information. Y'all have an organization that does mentorship and is out here in the community to improve and get better. <laughs> Ms. Alani is here to give you information and share perspective. So don't hesitate to contact someone. You can reach out. You got a, look, a tidbit of what she experienced. Just think about how much more you can get if you actually reached out and said, can you help me with this? Yeah. So peace and love to everybody. Until the next interview. Thank, Thank you. you.